And for more about the possibility of a dialogue with the Taliban, we are joined tonight by Karen Von Hippel. She is co-director of the Post-Conflict Reconstruction Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington, D.C. Thanks for being with us. There's been a lot of talk about the United States opening a dialogue with at least how it's sold over here, the so-called moderate Taliban. I've been in Afghanistan. I don't know of, is there really such a thing as moderate Taliban? Right, that's a good question. And the reality is actually there have been talks with the Taliban for a number of years now. They've been ad hoc, they haven't been coordinated very well, and it isn't really clear what incentives have been on offer. I think what's happening now is that uh, I think Obama and others in the administration want to let the American public know that we are going to ratchet up the efforts. We're going to take it one step further. The reality, of course, would have to be that you need to talk to all of the Taliban, whether it be right. the moderates or the hardcore, all of them, uh, because they eventually are, are part of the majority here, correct? They're part of the majority in certain parts of Afghanistan. I mean, I think you could take a sort of three-pronged approach. You, you, what you really want to do is protect the population. Now, to protect the population, you need to peel off and pay some of the ones that you can peel off, the moderates or the people who are doing it just for the money. Um, and then you need to punish the more extreme elements, those that aren't reconcilable. Now, we haven't been able to punish them over the last six, seven years. We haven't been successful in capturing Mullah Omar or Hekmatyar or some of the, the leaders of these different militia groups. Um, and so that is really what's under consideration now. What do we do next? And so I think the idea is let's have a larger discussion with some of these top leaders. Let's see what they want. Let's see what we can potentially offer them. Ideally, if you do offer them any sort of seat in a government, you also want to launch some sort of uh, reconciliation process, some sort of war crimes tribunal, so that hopefully you can bring some of the worst perpetrators to justice. Well, one of the issues here is that the, the Taliban are the same people who are against the education of women, who conduct public floggings, public executions. So are we really willing here to let Afghanistan revert to that form of rule as long as it brings peace? Right, and that's a serious question. And, and you know, how much are we driven by questions of expediency? We want to get out of there versus long-term justice. now. It's also true that the, the Taliban isn't the same Taliban that we knew in 2001. It's not monolithic. It's many different militias that are uh, that come together. They network with each other and they network with their their counterparts on the other side of the border in Pakistan, the Pakistan Taliban, which is probably comprised of 40 different militia organizations. So they don't all have the same goals. Some want an Islamic caliphate for the world. Some want Sharia law for just parts of Pakistan or Afghanistan. And so we really need to understand more what the different goals are of the group. And that way we can start to exploit the differences between the groups, try to bring in those who we think that we can talk to and we can work with and then try to deal with the real hardcore extremists. Karen Von Hippel, thank you very much for your insights tonight. Thank you.